Lucius, come here. I can't tell by the stars what time of day it is. Lucius, where are you? I said come here. You called me, my lord? Light a candle in my study. Yes, my lord. It must be by his death. And for my part, I know no personal cause to spurn at him. But for the general, he would be crowned. How that might change his nature? There's the question. It is the bright day that brings forth the adder and that craves wary walking. Crown him that, and then, I grant, we put a sting in him that at his will he may do danger with. The abuse of greatness is when it disjoins remorse from power, and to speak truth of Caesar, I have not known when his affection swayed more than his reason. But tis a common proof that lowliness is young ambition's ladder, whereto the climber upward turns his face. But when he once attains the utmost round, he then unto the ladder turns his back, looks in the clouds, scorning the base degrees by which he did ascend. So Caesar may, then lest he may prevent. And since the quarrel will bear no color for the thing he is, fashion it thus, that what he is, augmented, would run to these and these extremities, and therefore think him as the serpent's egg, which hatched would as his kind grow mischievous, and kill him in the shell. The candle is lit, sir. I found a letter that wasn't there before. Go to bed. Is tomorrow the Ides of March? I know not, my lord. Fetch me a calendar. Yes, my lord. Look at yourself. Should, should Rome stand under one man and one man alone? Brutus, you're asleep. Wake up! Did your ancestors not drive the kings out of Rome for good reason? Sir, it is the 15th of March. Thank you, Lucius. Somebody is at the door. I think we are too bold upon your rest. Good day to you. Do we trouble you? Ah, I've been up awake all night. Do I know this person that came with you? This is Decius. Good day to you. He is welcome too. Give me all your hands one by one. And let us swear a resolution. No, not an oath. We do not need an oath to do the right thing, as the right thing comes with patriotism. Very well. Portia, what are you doing this early in the morning? Ask yourself that question, Brutus. Last night, you stole from my bed and have stayed out here until this early in the morning. And last night at supper, you were just pacing around and you have not touched your food at all. Tell me, Brutus, what's wrong with you? And when I asked you what was the matter, you just glared at me and seemed really annoyed. As your wife, I think it, I demand to know what's, what's happening. Just sick. And a sick man would wake up at two in the morning to walk around in this toxic air. Portia, what have I done to deserve you? 